Hey guys, uh, the time now is around uh, 11 o'clock and I'm just uh, coming to the office now. Uh, so today I was a little late and today is a very important day considering we have the internship test. So 40 people uh, who have been shortlisted will be taking up the test at 6 p.m. today and Karthik upstairs will be preparing the test right now. And uh, also coming to the 9.30 trade review, so we were having a bullish position overnight and we still continue with our bullish uh, stance. Let's quickly go back and see what exactly happened at 9.30, what positions we were holding and what was our market view. Again, as usual, we'll be having one more trade review at 11.30. So let's also quickly get into the office. Uh, here we have Karthik uh, as usual. Uh, hi, Karthik. <laughs> so as I told you, uh, we are going to have the internship test today and Karthik is preparing the test. Uh, so we have six questions, uh, descriptive questions, uh, which they have to fill in the answers for. So we are going to go through each one of them and then select the candidates for the interview round. So we had got around 1,300 applications and then we had a long form to fill in. And uh, so out of which we filtered out almost around 500. And Ayush went through each one of the applications and then he has selected a top 40. So the top 40 will be taking this test and whoever is going to get selected in this is going to go to the interview round. So uh, right now uh, we are preparing for the uh, internship test. So uh, the market has just opened and uh, Bank Nifty, even though indicated a positive start of around, almost around 70 points. Uh, so now we are getting to see some kind of sell off in uh, Bank Nifty. Uh, so we had carried this position of 44,700 calls and also 43,200 puts. So you can see the premiums, one is trading at 55 and the other one is trading at 32. Plus we had also carried these hedge positions. So since the market has opened, I'll just be removing the hedge positions now. Generally I carry the hedge positions only for overnight purpose. And since the market has already opened now, so I have removed the hedge positions. And today is also Fin Nifty expiry. Uh, so I'm not sure whether I'll actually end up trading in Fin Nifty or not. Uh, so it would really depend. But right now, if you look at the bank nifty positions, so one is trading at uh, 60 rupees, that is the puts and the calls are trading at 27 rupees. So meanwhile, what I'll also do is add on to some more quantity of uh, bank nifty. So when we look at the charts, I won't be doing any kind of adjustments on the downside till we break 43,900. So this is the level which I would be looking for. So once we break that, I can either bring my calls closer or push my puts away. So I can push it to maybe something like 43,000 puts. So that would definitely be the idea. So till this is broken, we won't be doing any much adjustments. And on the higher side, again, we'll wait for the day's high to be taken out. And once that is done, uh, we can definitely look into how to go about the position. So I think uh, it is most likely because of HDFC Bank, uh, why exactly the market has fallen. Uh, so there was uh, this dividend declared by HDFC Bank almost of around 19 rupees. And because of which uh, we can see that the market has also come down. HDFC Bank is almost down by 1%. So anything below 43,900, I will either push my puts away or bring my calls in. So this is the first round of trade and this is exactly where we stand as of now. So uh, again, we'll be doing one more trade review at uh, 11.30. We have absolutely opened flat today. Uh, so hardly around 300, 400 bucks. Uh, so let's see if there would be any improvement in the position as we move towards 11.30. Okay, guys, look who is here. It's Nitara. Hi, Nitara. Okay, uh, so today we have a duel happening between Balu and Nitara because Nitara also has a joke for us. Let's see which joke is better, Nitara. Go ahead. There with was it. supposed to be audience for this joke. Audience will be there in the video, so you just uh, continue with your joke. Okay, Karthik, joke is for you also. <laughs> what moon can you eat? Ah, oh, damn. Ah, <laughs> Karthik cracked it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome to the 11.30 trade review. 
uh, as you can see uh, that morning we were absolutely flat uh, so we opened with hardly around 200 300 rupees profit uh, but right now we have gone to almost around 0.3 percent so we have got a fantastic dk considering that market has not moved much so even though the market fell in the morning it recovered pretty quickly and right now we are trading uh, flat so uh, because the market was flat our options have decayed and we have got uh, close to around 0.3%. We continue to keep our bullish uh, stance intact and uh, even now if you see the position so we have a 59 rupee put and 25 rupee call uh, so again this is also a bullish position and uh, what we are looking at is this level of 44,000. So you can see that uh, market had taken multiple supports at this level yesterday and it had bounced and even today so after it broke 44,000 it has taken support here quite a couple of times. So this is a very crucial level which we are looking at and anything below this will be pushing our puts away or bringing our calls closer in. So till that is done uh, we will continue to hold the same position as it is. So uh, one thing you can observe from 9.30 to now is that so if you actually look at the put positions initially we had 43,200 puts. So we have come all the way up to 43,400 which is almost around 200 points higher and in case of call so initially we had 44,700 itself. So uh, once the market uh, broke the level which we had discussed in the morning we came back down to 44,600 but later we shifted it up back to 44,700. So there was a time when we also went to 44,800 but we are now more or less back to the square one. So morning uh, or even yesterday night we had carried 44,700. We are still there with our calls and with our puts we have come 200 points higher and this is the current position with around 0.3 percent. We'll be doing our next trade review again around uh, 3 o'clock uh, so let's see what would have happened to the positions. Eat your leg, I'm very hungry. Okay we have Vandana here and I'm capturing her on the vlog. <laughs> okay uh, so uh, for people who are joining new so this is uh, Vandana she is a trading psychologist like she is a counselor by profession she also does trading psychology. So we'll ask her, uh, so what are the major concerns the traders face? Like you would have taken well over 50-80 uh, sessions by now. So what are the major issues that uh, people face? So the major concerns that people face is they do not have a proper discipline. Um, and in this particular profession, discipline is something that's very important. And um, they don't have the right strategy. So Sakit is the one who keeps saying this to me that you need to be a Usain Bolt in your own strategy. Hey. Cut, 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 cut. <laughs> and uh, one needs to be a little patient and understand their own emotions better which they don't. They only feel that okay they're losing out on money but they don't realize that there are other emotions like you know fear, greed or the fact that you've made money or when to cut your stop losses. So there are so many different things that comes into play and a lot of them think that only you make money when you come to the stock market but there are a lot of different things. It's like any other profession wherein skill is required. So I think that is something that people often forget and uh, want money very quickly. Fun coupons! Yeah. Hey guys, uh, so the time now is around uh, 3.15 and uh, you can see the positions right here on the screen. So we have seen slight improvement in our positions. Uh, so all the way from 15,000, now we have come closer towards uh, 25,000. That is around half percent on this account. So uh, one more really important thing is uh, you can also see meanwhile the market has crashed quite a lot. So last time when we were speaking, it was around 44,050. Right now we have seen almost a 200 point down move in Bank Nifty and especially most of this move Move came after 3 p.m. So when I open the charts right over here, uh, so you can see uh, here uh, post 3 p.m. we have seen continuous red candles or almost a move of close to around 200 points on the downside. So it has broken our important levels which we were discussing earlier. One is of 44,000 and the other one is of uh, 43,900. We still do think uh, that uh, even though uh, currently the market is trading uh, below. Uh, 43,900 because of the concept of average closing that is the last 30 minutes average is where the 
market will end up closing so i do think that the average closing might come above uh, 43900 we don't know so that is my uh, guess so it might come above 43900 so that's the reason uh, you can see the positions uh, what we are carrying it is still continuing to be a bullish position but we have done couple of shifts so at 11.30 trade review, so we were having a 44,700 call option. Because the market was falling, we have first shifted to 44,600, then we have gotten it down to 44,500. So right now we are holding a 44,500 call option trading at 24 rupees. And then along with that, we also have a 43,200 put option. So again here, you can see that we have shifted on the downside. Initially, we had 43,400. Once the market started falling, we shifted the puts to 43,300, then to 43,200. So as and when the market started sliding down, we also started bringing our calls and puts lower. So because of which we still were able to improve our position from where we were at 11.30. So we were having around 15,000. Now we have around 24,000. So uh, given this, uh, since we are also coming towards the end, I will end up uh, booking a 200 quantity or I'll end up booking 250 quantity. So let us only carry 450 quantity overnight. And along with this, I will also end up buying some so, hedge. So I'll be this buying. would be our overnight position, what we'll be carrying. So you can see right over here, we have a short strangle, which is slightly bullish. Along with that, uh, we also have a hedge, which are trading around three and a half, four rupees. So that's for the trade update now. And uh, it was a pretty peaceful uh, Tuesday. So since we had a lot to do uh, with respect to the internship work, uh, so we had to keep the trades alight on position one and also make sure that the trade was not very aggressive. So uh, we were a little far away from the market, which helped us to navigate even in a wild mode. So with this, we'll also be wrapping up the screen recording. So a pretty good and a nice uh, day uh, ending with half percent. And I'll be catching you again in the next vlog. Thank you. Uh, so now we are going to play a game of cricket. As usual, Gully cricket rules. Six catch one hand out, three beetles out. And in case if the ball goes full toss beyond the white line, uh, then it is also out. So this is the rules of our cricket. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, we are just uh, wrapping up for today quickly because the internship test is at 6 p.m. So we'll be quickly going home by then and we'll have the test conducted from there. Uh, so today was a great day. So we had a lot of fun. We kept the positions light and um, we didn't have a lot of adjustments to do. Uh, so the position uh, was quite far away, even the position sizing was low. Towards the end, we just uh, had to do some shifting because the markets ended up crashing. Overall, we have made around half percent today. And I also hope that you like the way how we traded today and also you got to learn something from today's trade. If so, then do not forget to hit the like button, share this video and also follow me for more. Thank you.